pop art. Let's take a look at what makes pop art pop art. Some of the qualities here. Uh, lots of bold colors. Happy stuff for the most part. It was a, it was a great time. It was, uh, I was too young to do anything but watch from the sidelines. But I love the artwork. So you have bold colors. Oops. Yeah, bold colors. Um, smooth, simple gradients. Uh, liquid text. A lot of times the text was very flowy. Not a lot of... Well, it had its angles and things, but it, it was sort of like poured into available spaces on posters and things like that. It was really cool. The text and the people, they often had like a weighted bottom-heavy look, and that was exemplified in not only Peter Max's artwork, but also uh, a guy named Vaughn Bodie, who actually was a little more 70s, but I loved his work. Everyone had bell-bottoms, you know? So that was the thing. That was the look. Everybody seemed to have small heads and great big feet. It was just generally the bell-bottom thing. So figures tended to uh, to have... Not in my end, not today. Um, also, obviously, it was the 60s. There were protests going on and stuff. So themes of peace, love, music, and nature. It was all very unity consciousness. It was a great time. It was a great time. Um, we had repeating motifs like the, uh, for instance, the uh, the soup cans or the Marilyn Monroe um, prints that Andy Warhol did. That kind of thing became popular in the in the 60s as well. Also, again, Andy Warhol uh, glorifying the mundane. Again, the soup cans. That's a perfect example of that. Taking ordinary objects and just you know putting them out there as something to pay some attention to for some reason. And uh, these were mostly in the advent. A lot of what, what uh, changed a lot of, uh, made a lot of the pop art. Um, what it was was the advent of the, the four-color printing press uh, technology back in so That was a relatively new in the 60s, so people were just having a blast with this thing. And Peter Max, was, uh, he was a master of this thing. It was, it was, that, was, that was his format. But first, before we move forward, I thought it would be fun... <laughs> I thought it would be fun to show you guys some of the advertising that I remember when I was a kid. Some of the things mostly in magazines and things like that. So I thought this would be kind of fun to, uh, to yeah. So let's take a look at some, some advertising. Cancel. Stop that. Hit the right one. Okay. Here's one of my favorites. <laughs> Very misogynistic. This was very much back in, you know, women uh, really hadn't started burning their bras yet, which is why this woman has nice perky uh, uh, a pan. She has a perky pan. Anyway, so there he is. There's Big Daddy home comforting her. <laughs> comforting her because she feels bad. She burned dinner, and he doesn't care. As long as he can get drunk, what does he care? Look at this guy's hair. <laughs> Look at the dude's hair. <laughs> I love that guy's hair. Of course, his mustache is completely out of control, but that hair, woohoo! Look at the mustache. <laughs> Can you believe it? I want a mustache. That's like a that's like a bad janitor's mustache. Of course, now look at this. Woohoo! Looking good. Looking good, baby. I like that headgear. Cleaning. See? Women of the future will make the moon a cleaner place to live. Of course they will. And then we have this guy. And the question I got to ask here is why, does, why is he dressed for work from the waist up and then he's in bed with sheets over him? I just, I'm wondering if there are pants involved anywhere in this picture. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. So that's that. <laughs> I love these ads. They're so <laughs> so much fun. Okay, and here <laughs> is this not disturbing? Is that not disturbing? Look at how happy that little pig is to commit Harry Carry for your taste buds. They were clean sheets, though. They were very clean sheets, yes. Thanks to his wife. She did a great job being the little wifey.
Oh yeah. That's the first one. Start the timer, Floor. Start the timer. We'll see if this happens every 15 minutes. Alright, where were we now? Shut that off, and that off, and that off, and that off. And that off, and that off. Okay. You let me know. I need, Floor, I need you to time me on this. And this one, this kid... <laughs> I stuck in the little comment there, but it was, you know, you know, somewhere under that tree is uh, a present with uh, with a black trench coat. <laughs> that kid's just a little too happy, a little too happy to have a firearm, I think. Sure I do, Romano, you gotta stay. It's the 60s, dude, it's all about the... Look... <laughs> <laughs> Would someone please translate that for me? <laughs> this is just wrong. This thing is just wrong. She's so cute, and you just, you can't say no. How are you going to say no to that? Okay, you can sniff it. You have to tell me what it is first, but I, I'm not sure what you're actually asking here, babe, but yeah, okay. I can't resist the pouty look. <laughs> so there we go. I'm, I'm thinking I might have forgotten one. Oh, no. Wait a minute. I have to bypass her. There she is. This Okay, so one more time. I just want to emphasize. I just wish to emphasize. Wait a minute here. That again... You got to keep in mind the liquid text. The second, the second point there, um, liquid text fitting into available spaces. That's the next example. So I'm going to show you some examples of '60s artwork. Now we're going to, you know, none of this is really serious, but uh, it's time to get a little serious. So there you go. See what I'm talking about? The way the artwork flows, the lettering flows into place, and everything is just melty and trippy and awesome. And the weighted lettering, like I was telling you, where it, it's the it's all bottom heavy and stuff. This is a prime example. <laughs> this is a prime example of that. And uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> Wait a minute. Indulge me for a second. Just, just indulge me. A little hefty there. Wait a minute. I told you this is, you know, this isn't your ordinary class. There you go. <laughs> so I had to do that. Forgive me. Just indulge me a little here. It's my class. I'll bloody well do what I want to do. No, I'm not growling. We're not growling yet. All right. Moving along. Let's uh, look at some of the other 60s. Look at this from the 60s. Again, with the peace sign up there text fitting into available spaces the love icon or the the logo down at the bottom that showed up in various incarnations i love you guys too um and by the way let me say because i usually start my streams with this i have to say it is an absolute honor for me to teach you guys i love every time that i've done one of these classes which is this is my third one and i feel really honored to teach people that and, and i admire your artwork so much so this is really cool for me to be able to show you stuff Anyway, the other thing, too, is the comic 
the, the drama girl from the comics, that made its appearance. That's one of those things that was glorified, kind of the mundane thing. Um, so this showed up in the 60s as well. And it was pretty cool. Now, this is this one's kind of a bad example. It's a great piece of artwork, but this one is much more like what was actually happening, where you actually saw the dot texture, like the newsprint kind of texture. That was much more typical of that style. So, getting rid of that one. This Now, I wanted to show you this. So, another thing that was interesting was this other movement that went right hand-in-hand hand with pop art, which is called op art. And yes, I'm pretty sure that this was just designed to just be sitting in front of and just tripping your butt off. And, and uh, you know, it's just supposed to play with your vision. We're not really going to get into that because that looks like it. That's, that looks like something that BP, or, uh, that uh, PK would play with, with his textures and stuff. But I just, I wanted to show you just another kind of art that was happening in the 60s as well. Okay. Moving on, here's why we're here. This is the guy, the man, Peter Max, born in Berlin in 1937, traveled the world with his parents because, of course, in 1937, lousy time to live in Europe. Um, I don't know. I got nobody typing for me. I don't know what's going to happen as far as that goes. And you really don't want me, you really don't want me typing. That's not a good idea for me to type and talk at the same time because I'll never get any artwork done. I'll be correcting typos and stuff. So anybody who feels like jumping in and doing that, please feel free. I'm not going to stop you. One of the cool things, check this out. I wish I had Peter Max's parents. His mother was a graphic designer. I forget what his father did. But uh, one of the houses they lived in in Europe had four balconies on it. And they set up on each balcony a different kind of artwork, like maybe, you know, oils and... Uh, on one balcony, oils and maybe watercolors, and then on another one, charcoals and pastels, and then on another one, some other kind. And they told him, pick one of the balconies and just go make a big mess, and we'll clean up after you. How cool is that? Why couldn't my parents be that cool? That's awesome. I, I would pay good money for parents like that. Uh, he studied many different styles of art as he was growing up, and... Uh, he was very versed. You wouldn't think of it to look at his, to look at his artwork because it's so simple and cartoony. But he was a master of photorealism and, and many other impressionism and all these classical styles. He was a very, very well-versed artist. Uh, but he, it was said that when he discovered this four-color printing process, he played the thing like a musical instrument. Honestly, he was mixing colors right on the press, right as the printing was being done, and he was, this is where these gradients came from, that just nobody was doing this up to, up to you know, this point. So, and it really did define, it absolutely defined the whole style for, a, for the whole generation of the 60s. So Peter Max, he was the man. Still is, I think he's still alive. We have quite a, I got three or four examples here, three or four pages. Um, yeah, cool parents rock. Mine tried. Uh, anyway, you'll see on the right that the one, the date on the top is 2000. So even though that wasn't technically done in the 60s, that was, just, you know, he, he maintained that style for quite a while. But uh, this is typical of his kind of artwork. If you look at, for instance, this, you might miss the little, uh, the little profiles, all the little white profiles in there. You might miss that detail. Again, if you look down here and were thinking you were looking at blue sky, you might miss those profiles as well. Um, he didn't do, Peter Max did hardly, I'm not sure this is grammatically correct, he hardly did any faces uh, straight on or three-quarter view, almost always profile. And uh, that was a real hallmark of his, of his stuff as well. Here's some more of his stuff. And you can, again, like with this one, you can see uh, the little guy kind of running away from you on the right. That's kind of a rarity. He didn't really do that view very often. You'll see a lot of freeform shapes. You'll also see a lot of use of negative space. Like, for instance, this head right here. You know, it looks like somehow it's a completed head, but it isn't, and, you know, that kind of thing. Um, hidden little profiles in with things 
Lots of free forms, lots of free form shapes. You'll notice that the gradient in the background is multicolored. It's not just one or two colors, it's there's four colors in there. That was typical as well. Um, the other theme that recurs in Peter Max's work a lot is what I call, I don't he, he didn't coin it this, but the running man. He always has this, you know, some somebody going from one place to another. And again, if you look at the this guy's head, you can see the use of negative space. And I love the patterns on the clothing and that kind of stuff. Oh, it's just so cool. This stuff was just so cool. What else we got here? Last one. Another recurring theme of uh, Peter Max's artwork were the sun rays, really prevalent in his work. The one that was dated 2000, that had it in it, um, and maybe another one. You can see again in all three of these pictures, you can see the running guy. That theme crops up a lot. Also the stars motif in the bottom one, that crops up a lot. The, uh, these little doodads down in the corners, things like that. Just these little free forms, you don't know what that is. It's almost like Bob Ross, it's a happy little accident or something. You know, these things that you don't worry about that, uh, that crop up. And uh, so it's just, it's really cool. I love Peter Max's artwork. Again, here's a good example of negative space. You know, a profile within a profile, and it almost looks like ear flaps on the one, but it's negative space, and again, sort of flowery, organic, easy to do figures. The hardest, at least for me, the hardest part of doing any of his style is getting a decent looking profile. You know, I am an art teacher. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> so, okay. So that's, that's the examples. Also, you'll notice in this bottom one, and, and the one above it, on the right, you'll notice that uh, very little is reflected in the water. There's, um, you know what I mean? You see, like, the boat is reflected in both of them, but the clouds aren't, the sun isn't. Nothing is really reflected in the water except one main object. Just, it, it's simple. It's a very stripped down and simplified thing. So, all right, Romano. Do all you guys have sound, by the way? Is there anybody who's really missing out on any of this because of the lack of typing? I hope not. Bye, Romano. Okay, so that's my little presentation about Peter Max. So we're ready to start something new. And we'll just go with this. Okay, now, I can't do much about it if you don't have sound. That is beyond the scope of my capabilities. Let me show you just the basic techniques for getting the outlines, and uh, really the rest is easy. I mean, we're using, we're going to be using mostly vectors, um, predominantly vectors, the, uh, the soft brush, which is which will be this one, we'll be using that quite a bit for the gradients. I don't want to use the gradients with the vectors. I find them a little hard to control and getting them precisely where I want. This is just faster, it's easier, and frankly, I think it's just more fun because you can make the color choices later, and you can undo and you know lay a base coat down and put your gradients in this way. Also, there are brushes that I have... Am I talking too fast? I should slow down a little bit, shouldn't I? I'm like all, I'm, I'm keyed up. I'm really kind of, not nervous, but just a lot of energy right now. I'm having, this is fun. I like this. I have uploaded some brushes, and I will show you these really quickly. Uh, two of them that are currently in, you'll find them. What am I teaching? I am teaching the style of Mr. Peter Max, and it's very cool, very 60s. Some of the icons, the iconic things that you'll find are is this one, for instance, the stars. I made that one, uh, just so it goes quickly, 
just to save you some time because drawing individual stars is really a pain in the butt. So there's that one. I also have um, this one's loaded. I mean, and I'll show you something. This one's better for small planets, and I'll show you why in a second. Because now two of them that I uploaded, but they haven't. They haven't. Uh, okay. Thank you for. I love this. I love that we can sort of like time this out. Two of them that haven't been added yet because I just added them is this little motif shows up. Typical Peter Max dove. You'll find them in there, and it's again, it's kind of a pain in the butt to draw this repeatedly if you want. So I made a brush out of it and I uploaded that. And the other one, I drew another, I keep hitting the wrong one there. I drew another planet. Now this is full size. Let me clear all that. And the reason I made another one is because with this one, see as you make as you make it bigger, see the way the line width matches? Now you have a big and a small planet to play with, whereas if you only have one and you kick the size way up on this one, see the lines get ridiculously thick. So in order to maintain a consistency of line I made two of them so you can put in diff two different size of, uh, of planets see I got your back but the smaller one will cover you know a decent little range but you can see that the line thickness gets you know and likewise with the other one it, the line thickness would get smaller if I go with like a middle sized brush you know it gets quite thin So, so there, those brushes are all uh, in the community, the, uh, the concept art. That's where you'll find them is in that, that one. So as soon as uh, the other two are approved, they'll be available as well. But for right now, the stars and the, uh, the smaller planet. So, all right. Let's do something. Let's draw something. My main technique for this, like I said, I'm using mostly vectors. <laughs> I love you guys. The main tool that I use is, is uh, vector. And it's, um, I'm going to draw something and then I'll draw something too. <laughs> so far, no crash. We're doing pretty good past the 15 minute mark. Okay, now how I will have this set to do the outline is I'll have the grid, just keep in mind the fill is off. I keep the fill off, I keep simplify at either two or three, either one. Either one works fine. You might, if you're gonna do some corners, some sharper corners, you might want it on two. Pick the line width, I liked around five or six. I kinda liked it, and I'm using, I'm using just the standard resolution uh, canvas here just the uh, the 1224 by 7 whatever um, you're gonna want a thicker line if you go to higher resolution okay so what happens is that you get this very nice consistency of line and it'll smooth out if you go with simplify the higher you go with simplify let's say five you know you can have jaggies and it'll it'll smooth out your curves for you and you really kind of want that you don't want it you don't want uh, too little resolution but I'm okay with like with two or three Dun, 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 dun. Cool. So we got 19 minutes out of it. Okay. So that's one. That's the basic technique: is to have vector in over mode. You want it 100 percent. You want simplify set. You know, somewhere in like between two and five. I'll go for three. And uh, turn the fill off. 
All right. And then you can you can get nice smooth lines that'll kind of work with you. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Let's start with one of the hardest things. I'm just going to go right for the hard stuff because that's the way I roll. And I'm going to try a profile here. It might take me a couple of times. And again, I'm not going to shoot for perfection because I, we're already a half hour into this thing and, and I want to, you know, get you guys started. But enough talking. So I'll just, I'll try to plop out a basic, and it, the profiles are very simple. Going to come down and do a lip, a bottom lip, a little thingy there. All right, could have been cleaner. I actually would like the simplify. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to put the simplify up another notch. See? See how nice and clean that comes out? And it's a... Uh, now, the other thing, as long as I'm at this, let's say, for instance, I don't like the lips, or this is good for cleaning up lines. Let's say I do another line, um, and just for the heck of it, I'm going to put a line over here just to show you how I clean up. Uh, it's not a big deal. I use this all the time. Vector goes into a race, and then the only difference is that's it. That's the only other thing that I do. And then you can come in and clean this up. Very simple. So it's good, you know, in case I'm not going to, but if I wanted to replace those lips, I'm really not happy with them. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm not going to spend the two and a half hours that I would normally clean up <laughs> nice so that's basically that's as far as the outline oops my mistake was that I had fill still on if you're doing your outlines turn the fill off give them a nice little smile again not a lot of detail um, for the nostril he almost always just did a little line like that very simple. His the eyes that Peter Max did were really cool. They were basically very simple, kind of a weird triangle that came up like that. Very simple. Now you can do the pupil a couple of different ways. You're doing good, Red. Thank you so much. You're doing awesome with this. Thank you. You can do just a little like a little half circle like that, like a little check mark that kind of thing sometimes it was just that the one that I like the most is the is it would come down like this like almost drawing the eyelashes that was a really typical sort of style that he did they were yep they were they were just kind of cool and then sometimes you get these like odd little traily things that he would he would put in and his eyebrows he wouldn't do this is not the kind of style he would use he wouldn't do like this kind of eyebrow nope not like that his eyebrows that he would do were usually these like cloud organic shapes big ones things like that a lot of times the same thing with the sideburns facial hair same kind of thing like these organic shapes Big, simple, go quick, you know, don't worry so much about it. Sideburns, same thing with hair. You can, like, you know, put some hair in there like this. You can see right away, I mean, that's the look. That's the Peter Max look. It just comes together, and it's not, it's not hard to do. It's just sort of looking at the way he did it and just, just go for that simplicity. I'm just going to roll with this. I'm not going to try to clean it up. I don't really, by the way, I don't really have a plan. 
I'm just going to, we're just going to kind of roll with it and see where it takes us. So back and forth between between having see I mean it cleans up really simply. Now you're going to want to make sure that these gaps are closed because if you use fill you don't want gaps because it's just going to wreak havoc. So I'm, I'm going back and forth between the two settings. When I'm doing the outlines, it's all in over mode. It's, uh, well, that is the lines. And you turn the fill off. Make sure fill is off. And then when you're cleaning up, put it on erase and turn fill on. Those are the two settings as far as the outlines. Are you guys misbehaving already? <laughs> are you guys having a good time? Anybody have any questions so far? Anybody? What, you always have questions with me? <laughs> Are you questioning my sanity? So you can see right away that... I'm sure you do, man. <laughs> What? What is your suggestion? Now, I haven't done any negative space with this, but I'm going to do something interesting with this. Because you got to think outside the box a little bit. I'm going to make this a, uh, a landscape. We're going to turn this into a landscape. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You guys are freaking me out. So, we're going to continue this. Where am I here? I want to race. We're going to do a little more outlining. And it's just back and forth between those two settings. Uh, I'm not really sure. Okay, we'll, we'll put like a, one of the flower things in here. I'm just trying to set up areas where I can, I can use the... Uh, either the fill or the vector. That's how the coloring done. So all right, so that's basically how you do your outlines. Mm, okay. Sorry, that was a burp. I just suppressed a, a loud burp. And it kind of hurt. So we'll let's see, we'll throw another line in here, maybe maybe another one. Just to make it interesting. That's another thing that you'll find is that a lot of times you wouldn't... Wait a minute, let me make sure that's close. You'd find that uh, there are a lot of double lines like, like this. He'd like do a double outline. That was typical of his style as well. And then, you know, put something else in here, something equally organic and who knows, maybe another double line in here with a thingy over here who knows it doesn't really matter you see how this is all very it's all very free flowing there's not a lot of you don't have to sweat this stuff at all I don't like artwork that you have to sweat over I don't care for it so we're getting there we're getting somewhere here I'm excited I'm excited anybody need a bathroom break or anything been at this 45 minutes anybody need a breather <laughs> when do you want to reconvene, Mark? How long a nap do you need? <laughs> I'll see all you guys back here in an hour and a half, right? Okay. All right. Well, you know what? I am going to do an actual, an actual break coming up here in a bit. So, let's talk about coloring. A couple of different ways you can do your coloring. 
I prefer to pick an underlying layer and go in with vector. Now we're going to use vector more how it people are used to using it. We'll turn the fill on and keep it not in a race but in the over mode. And let's pick a dark green. Let's go with a like a grassy kind of color. And just start filling in just around this edge. Big blocky shapes of color. That's all you're looking for is just to fill this in. Again, we'll go back and clean up some of these areas in a bit. Maybe we won't even have to, I don't know. Now keep in mind I still have this on Simplify, so it's trying to, you know, that's kind of going to kind of result in my having to clean up some of this. But I don't feel like messing with this, you know, that every setting. It's just easier to switch it to a race. Just easier going back and forth. I gotta tell you, I'm so much more relaxed with this class than at any class so far. And I think that's because you guys have just been having such a good time with me singing for you and stuff. I feel so much more relaxed. Yeah, Phil, Phil is kind of... Uh, it's okay for like the stars... I like to use fill for the stars because it's just a quick way to pop them in. I set the tolerance, you know, to a certain point, and if it screws up, I back it off. Um, I don't know what color here. You think maybe some red? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna wait on that, um, and I'm gonna draw another line. So all we have to do is turn fill off and press the black. I'm gonna just wiggle a line in there. That'll work. I want to. I want to continue the uh, the green. So we can just. Oops. Wait a minute here. What did I do wrong? Oh, I put the... Okay, wait a minute. I got to back up. I put it on the wrong layer. I like to keep the line art. Mayday, mayday. Right. What am I doing here? Got it going on here. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. It'll work fine. Not sweating any of this. Actually, want that color. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna try to fill this in. I really. Oops. What am I doing here? I forgot to turn fill back on. That's the one thing. If you're doing it wrong, it's pretty quickly to see. You know, it's pretty quick to see how you're screwing up. So I'm working on a layer underneath and just dropping in the color. We haven't even gotten to the fun part yet. This is really, it's such a blast to do this. So much fun. See, I would love to just have some Beatles music playing in the background right now. I would love that. I would love that. Okay. Um, so we're only going to work with one color at a time. We're going to be collapsing layers a lot. Okay. Thank you, Floor. Thank you, darling. So here's, here's where it gets cool. Now you go into brush, and we're going to use the soft brush for all our gradient work. 
That's how we do all of it. And you're going to pick a good size, or I am. You can do what you want. And let's darken it up a little bit. We'll lay in a gradient that we'll put it in on mode. Make sure I'm in the right layer. Yep. And then just lay in a little bit right like that. Now we'll pick another color, let's say sort of a limey green kind of thing. See that? It's like you you can just lay in these awesome colors. I'm not going to be picky. I'm not going to do a lot of undos with any of this stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It has I love the the fact that it's easy, it's retro. This is coming along much better than I thought. I was really kind of sweating this quite honestly. Uh let's pick another color. Let's go with yeah, pinky pinky purple maybe. Pinky purple. And you'll notice not very many I'm not going to use very many darker or subtle colors at all. None of this is subtle. I mean, you saw his artwork. You've seen it. You know what I'm talking about here. Okay, so I'm going to drag another layer underneath. I'm going to try to keep all my colors for right now on separate layers. Just until I get the gradient put in, and then I'll collapse them. And not worry too much about them. Let's see. On. Nope. Over. Fill goes on. I want that there. And we'll... You can spend more time with this as you want, cleaning up your lines and being more careful. I just, I don't want to keep you guys forever. Turn off your mind, relax. And flow downstream. Okay, when we'll do, let's say, this one. Throw that in the same color. Anything else I want that color? Um, yeah, we'll do this. We'll do this strip. Um, maybe the eye, just for the heck of it. <laughs> I'll be singing you a song a little bit, in, in just a little while. Doing most of this, I'm not, I'm just not going to be that choosy. Um, alright, so let's put another gradient in. We switched to brush. Already got our setting. Let's uh, go with an orange and keep it in on mode. Woohoo! Look at that. God, that's awesome. I love this technique. I love it. Isn't that cool? I mean, it's so fast. This is, it's just, it's playing. That's what I love about this. It's like being a little kid and it's just, it's, you're playing. It's just a blast. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to, just for the heck of it, I'm going to merge it down. Go back up to that layer. And pick pick my next color. I'm going to go with a bright yellow. And I'll... Um, let's, I'm going to do, I guess, the hair. I was debating between the hair and the face. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Okay, that's all. Yep, make your color choices wild. Make They don't have to make any kind of logical sense. For Pete's sakes, people were tripping their butts off, you know. The whole point was to see something fantastic, so... I really like the uh, the vector outlines because they're so consistent. There's very little work. I was thinking when I was doing this stuff, um, you know, watching you guys that just just excel so much at the graffiti, how much of a time saver this might be for you in getting your outlines. Uh, 
Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Stay out of my shit. But yeah, I was thinking how how um, this might be something that the graffiti artists could use just to make their their lines, you know, just a, a lot easier. You probably wouldn't want it on the the really high simplify setting because I know you guys like more detail than this, but I would be using it. I burp. I admit it. And this, this same, I mean, I've already shown you most of the procedure. Really, there isn't much beyond what I've already showed you. The techniques involved don't really, I mean, that's it. You do your outlines, you pick your colors, put them on an underlying layer, go into on mode with the brush. I'm probably saying that way too fast. Poor Red. How you doing, Red? You keeping up okay? Hey, BP, are we going to have a compo? <laughs> are we going to do a compo? That would be fun. You know, when you post a picture in the comp in a compo, it's called a compost. <laughs> All right, I apologize for that. I apologize for that comment. That was just a bad pun. Red, you are doing a fantastic job, darling. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I love you. Because love is all. And love is everyone. There we go. I'll just go with that one. Again, we go to on mode. Oops, brush. Already got our gradient set. Um, give me a color. Somebody suggest a color. I'm seeing the third color that I see. I'll go with. Go. Brown. 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 <laughs> you know what? Just because Mad said it, I'm going to go with brown. I, I have to honor what... <laughs> That's not a 60s color, dude. Brown. I know what you're thinking about. You're thinking certain jousting little individuals, aren't you? All right, what's going to be a good brown? <laughs> I know what Mad's thinking. There's only one thing, yes, that's, that's the only thing that ever applies. When Mad says it, that's what it is. All right, we'll stick with brown. Why not? There, how's that? That's kind of cool. I can live with that. <laughs> you guys there you go another cool gradient and you know what just mark said cyan and i like that i'm gonna go with that too so we'll put a little of that in maybe it's gonna suck i'm not sure how close to that that is but why not that's the nice thing about this you can just have fun with this you can just chill out and relax so that's the basic concept for it um, we're at the one hour point, so, uh, should I just keep going with this? Does anybody need a break? Because I'm planning on taking this till nine o'clock, my time. That's another hour. But, well, but, well, I just said but, well. Um... I'm just going to, I'll tell you what, if you guys want to take a break, if you guys have to go use the bathroom or whatever, I'm going to continue just filling in these colors. Um, you're not going to miss anything because, like I said, you've already seen, you've already seen the procedure. So I'm just going to color in the face and the little flower doodad and, and the remainder. So if you guys need to take a break, um, 
now would be a good time to do it. You're really not going to miss much of anything. Okay? I got to have some orange in there. So, yeah, this isn't this isn't going to be a very um There we go. I like that better. Okay? <laughs> you don't like it, man? All right. We'll back it off. Give him brown hair. It looks like somebody's mom, doesn't it? With a big nose. No, I don't. I took care of that before. I I went before we got in the car. <laughs> so I'm just gonna. Okay, I'm gonna put orange in. No, I'm not gonna go with orange. Um, we'll pick the blue. We'll pick the same blue. And use that to color the face in. Why? Because it's the 60s. Phil is on. That's an in. Okay. So if you guys, yeah, if there's anything, this would be a great time for. Uh, okay, so I'm not sure I want to merge that one down yet. So I'll go with another layer. This is an excellent time for you guys to take a break if you need it. Because I'll be at this for about another 10 minutes. Just doing the same thing. New colors on the bottom. for Oh, I see what you're saying. Like, put the layer. I see what you're saying. Just slip that underneath, right? Like that. That's what you mean, Mark? So you can just go... Look at how smart that boy is, saving me a bunch of time. Love it. And that is why Mr. B is one of the masters of Sketch Club, ladies and gentlemen. You listen to him. Or go to your room. One of the two, it's your choice. <laughs> yeah, go to his room. Whatever. Look at how fast that went. Oops, wait a minute. Screwed that one up. How cool is that? Woohoo! Um, I'm going to go in with some green because I kind of want to keep it landscapey. Landscapey. Yeah, but we're going to lay some blue in. Or green, I mean. So we'll leave... Oops. You don't have to transcribe my oopses. Don't say oops. with that either. I think I'm going to, yeah, I like this better. How cool is that? I like this. I'm liking this thing a lot. Landscapey. Cool, huh? I like it. I like it a lot, as a matter of fact. Markscapey. Manscapey. Doing some manscaping.
is all, and love is everyone. Could have cleaned that up right there. I still could. But I'm not gonna not gonna do it. I'm loving this. Ba 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 yeah. Okay. That was fast. <laughs> Transcribing my singing. All right, let's uh, let's do another element. Let's let's uh, do the sun thing, okay? So for that, we're gonna go back into our mode for doing the lines. Gonna turn that off, right? That's over. We want that. Uh, I still don't know if I want to. I'll merge that one down. Okay, I want to work in this underlying layer. I hope I have this in the right place. I'll put it on the bottom. Now this is cool. I'm just going to make the first circle, just so I can kind of position the sun where I want it. Um, let's make it right here. So there we've got the sun. We'll use that as our basis. Now I'm going to turn off all these other layers. All the overlying layers. What I should have done, now that I know generally where I want it, I'm going to, I'm going to go back. I'm going to put a little center point right there. Actually, I'm going to zoom in. Okay. Because that's going to be important. Now I'm now I'm going to lay out the sun generally where I'm basing it on that, so it's roughly in the center. Okay. Just for the heck of it, I'm going to let's see. We're going to use yellow. We'll fill the sun with yellow. I don't like that at all. Actually, I'm going to transform it and bring it up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, that's better. We'll have it like the seat of consciousness. That's what it is. And eventually we'll erase that, the yellow dot. But for right now, uh, let's try fill just for the heck of it. And you can see how this goes. We'll zoom in. And we do not want to consider all the layers. We only want that one. So this is set on off. I have the threshold to 36. Who knows how well this is going to go. And I don't know if I need that in freehand, but I'm doing it. Yeah, see, not too bad. But you do get, see the artifacts there? And then, yeah, if you feel that, that gets a little harsh. So vector really is a better way to do it. And it makes it harder to put your... I just wanted to show you what that does. I'm going to actually do it with vector on an underlying layer so that I can lay the gradient in. So we'll go into there. Vector. We'll go back to our vector. Fill is on. Oops. What have I done? What did I do? There we go. Everybody loves my body sometimes. Everybody needs some love. I wish I knew the words. <laughs> that was the music my parents listened to all the time. Deanie. Deanie Martinet. My someone is now. If I had it in my power, I would arrange for every girl to have your charms. Then every minute, every hour. Now we still want our little center dot there because we need that as a reference. 
Every boy would find what I found in your arms. <laughs> oh, everybody loves my body. Right, enough of that. Um, so there we have the sun. Let's, I like to use a red gradient in the sun. I just like to use it that way. It looks like it's all set up to go. We'll put it in on, right? It's in on mode. Nope. Now it is. And we'll put that sun in. Yeah, check that out. Love that stuff. Love that. I love that. Hi, Bunny. Glad you could make it. Okay, this is where we, this is why we need the center point. Now I'm going to merge that down. I think I am. No, now I'm going <laughs> to, I'm confused. I need another layer. That's what I'm going to do. I know what I'm doing. I got this. I don't need a net. We're going to go back into our outline mode. Vector. Vector. And the fill gets turned off. And we'll put it in line mode. This is why we need the, the center point. I'm going to go from that center point and just start dropping these in. And I'm not going to be too precise. Just going to drop in radiant lines. Every so often. I don't even care if they work out evenly. They're all going to. Oops. Come back here. Oh, everybody loves my body sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> how cool is that the vectored settings to do the outlines we'll go over it again you want it in over okay and then you want this this is the key thing is you want your fill turned off when you're doing the outlines are you guys having fun are you guys having a good time so that's how you do that. Um, I'm. Uh, let me take a look at what I got here. I could. Yeah, I can fill those in. I'm just going to. Just for the sake of speed, I'm not going to do it with vector. I ain't doing it that way. I ain't going to do it. I'm just going to use fill just for the heck of it. And I'm going to fill them all in with yellow. Not all, I'm sorry, every other one. Okay. You know what? Mm, that's a mistake. I'm not doing it. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding. I'm not doing it. I hate to do this, but I have to do it with vector in order to keep the color on their own layer. So now, anyway, we can go up to this outline. Hello. Hello again. Okay, vector. Um, gonna go into a race. Freehand. Get rid of that little center thing. Come on, where are you? What are you doing here? There we go. So we don't need the center. That was just so we could roughly get all the, the things in. All right now. Vector goes in over. You want you to fill on. And you love to hang with me? Is that what you're saying? No. Oh. Fill on. Where am I? What layer? I want this. Actually, I want another layer underneath that. This can get a little layer intensive. 
So you want to make sure your iPad is up to the task. You can see I'm up to quite a few layers already. If I didn't... <laughs> see, this is what happens. I do the Dean Martin voice, and it gets addictive. And then I can't cut it out. And I start shoveling my driveway, and people get out, outside get to hear me singing everybody loves my body sometime Scotland that's right we do it for Scotland is Josh in here is Josh I can only see so many people in here the way I have the window set up oh, oh that's right he could only stick around for too long a little long, whatever. I would arrange for every girl to have your charms. Then every minute, every hour. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the acid to kick in. That LSD must have been a bad batch. I don't know. It ain't kicking in. I'm just not seeing, you know, one more. Okay, quick enough. Now here's the cool thing. Again, now we go back into on mode, right? And brush. Oh, you know, I was thinking of doing a rainbow, but I thought it might take too long to kind of line up. Um, then an on mode, yeah that and we go into that nice red I thought it would take too long to actually line up all the circles I was actually thinking about doing that how's that how cool is that Did you get that gradient going out all of this is just simple cool gradients oh <laughs> oh ever <laughs> Oh my god. Just stop it. Stop it right now. I'm going to go a little darker. This is something I wanted to try the last time I did it. And just hit this just a little darker in the center. Just to kind of give it a little more depth. Yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah, I like that. That makes the sun stand right out. Now... Let me collapse a few things down. We'll collapse the sun down. Sun down. Because we don't need that. That frees up a couple of layers. We'll bring this guy down. Merge down the outline. So now we have the sun. That's all on one layer. Now I can... Let's see. I'm just going to drag my other layers up to the top just to get them organized and out of the, out of the way. And I want this one down below. Because we're going to go with a color fill, with a nice deep blue. How cool is that? Do the monkey. Huh. Man, I'm pretty. So, let's put a gradient in the sky. <laughs> Do the monkey with me. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. We'll go with white just to kind of lighten it up. No. No, we'll take this color as a gradient, right? I got it on, on, right, right. And maybe this sucks. Maybe it doesn't. Then every minute, <laughs> every hour. <laughs> I back down the opacity a little bit because I want to like make this a little bit oh that too much a little more gentle transition. Every boy will find it out <laughs> in your arms. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. Maybe we'll put a touch of red out here. Yeah, there we go. A little lighter. Take the gradient down. 
How's that? You know, I was thinking the other day, too. Thank you, Susan. I was thinking the other day that this kind of artwork is sort of like you get your basic shapes in, and it's like decorating a tree. Once you get this, all the setup done, see, this is where it's cool. I'll watch this. I'll drag another layer down. Now it's time to use the cool little brush with the stars. We'll use the, we'll get into the stars now. You want it in black and not on. I have it in on mode. See, you can put some stars in there. This is where I tend to use fill. It is. It's like you. It is. It's like decorating a tree. You put the basic things in, and then you kind of add your little flourishes, the little circles, the little dots. Yep. So I'm just going to go in. Now this one I am going to use Phil, Philbert, to uh, color in my stars, and I'm going to just do them in white, and just. Uh, nah. I was going to switch the layer off. the overlying layers, but I'm not going to do that. Everything's working fine. Not the best, but you might want to do it with vector if you don't want the little artifacts, because you probably will get them. Oops. Every boy will find what I found in your arms. Oh, everybody loves got that at some time. <laughs> at some point. Then again, I might just piss you off. <laughs> That's happened before. When I get talking all about politics, ain't nobody like that stuff. Come on. Play me game here. Maybe I go the other way. Ugh. You little bastard. You know what? I'm just not even going to bother. Okay, so now we have stars in there. Coming up on 8.30. Yeah, man. Go ahead. I'm not sure I can accommodate it, but... The Beatles. Why don't you sing the Beatles? I will do one song before we end up here. I'll probably do the banana song. <laughs> Being a bad kid. Okay. So you can see the general idea. This is all that clips along very quickly. This isn't, this isn't complicated stuff. That's what I love about this. I'm going to put another, and this is after the fact, so I'm, I'm kind of, Thinking maybe I need to do it in. Uh, uh, we'll try it in these modes. I don't know how it's going to go, but I want to drop another gradient in the sun rays in the outer thing. I'm, I'm not sure this is going to work. Oops, wrong brush. Every boy. I wish I could get that out of my head. I really got to get Dino out of my head now. It ain't going to work. I'd have to go back in with maybe a vector gradient. So I'm not I'm not gonna be able to pull that off, but so I'll just have to be happy with my sun rays. So anyway, that's uh that's I, I'm not sure what to show you at this point. I tried to do a tree earlier and it kinda sucked. But I'll uh I'll try one anyway. We'll see what we can do. I'm going to start collapsing layers. Just merging stuff down. Um, merge that down. So now I have everything on just three layers. All of that is only three layers. Thank you, Mist. It's fun to play with. It's really fun to play with. Let's do some circles. That's the other thing. I just want to embellish this and... You know, I don't want to belabor the point. You get the idea. So the other, another motif that, uh, well, I will do one of the dubs. 
Yeah, we'll throw in a dove. A couple of doves. Lovey doveys. Ooh, everybody. But you can put little people running around in there. Um, we'll put another, we'll put a couple of them in. Then every minute. <laughs> You guys are going to be so sick of that song, man. Really are. All right, I'm getting confused here. And this, again, this is one of the brushes that I, I just tonight just uploaded before class, so I'm not sure it's going to be available right away, but BP has to okay it and add it. A little dove in there. We'll put another one in here. The 60s were such a cool time. When I was a little kid, I was so captivated by all this stuff. There was a And I remember seeing some guy. Some guy being arrested by the hippie, and uh, he was a hippie. He was a um, the police, and, and he had a derby, but he had it being taken away by the police. He was um, his he it was all he was wearing was his derby, and he didn't have it on his himself up. And I had he <laughs> was covering. I can remember being a kid going, these people are crazy. I love this. I love the whole thing. Put them down here. Here. And we'll throw a couple more in with our good old copy down and transform. Throw another couple little doveys in somewhere. Isn't this cool? I used to have a derby when I was a kid, and one of the guys in the neighborhood, one of the, the dads, used to call me Vicar. Hey, Vicar! Alright, I'm going to put a cloud in, just to take up some space. So you guys get the general idea? Let me, uh, 
let me just, well, I'm not actually going to pause because why? But uh, does anybody have any questions about the, the general procedure? That is a terrible club. Yeah, I did. I wore my derby on my head. I did not... I did not... Uh, follow the hippie's example. Well, you know, I'm not happy with that cloud, but I'm going to go with it. I'm going for it. Drag another layer underneath. And go with white. And we're going to do a gradient on this. Over. The fill is on. I knew I was going to forget something. Is Mark still hanging with us? Did we lose Mark? Get out of my head, Dean. You've been in there too long. You're going to have to start paying me rent. Red, I adore you so much for doing this, doing the, the typing for me. I think we need to give Red a round of applause for this. It's awesome. Your awesome typiness. That is really a crappy cloud, and it looks like it's going right up his nose. <laughs> Yay, red. I'm going to go clean up this outline. <laughs> that really does look bad. Looks like a big steam cloud or something coming out of the nose. Put it in a raise, then we turn the fill off. No, we want the fill on. Yeah. Clean up the outline a little bit. I'm just doing this as a quick space filler. I would actually like to put a tree in or something like that, but I'm just kind of doing this in the interest of time. Oh, really? Honestly, I got Dean Martin stuck in my head now. I hate you, Dean. I hate you. See? It's like right up the nose. That's not good. Ooh. So let's do our gradient. Da -da 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 -da. Batman, I'm back, man. I'm back, man. That was pretty pathetic. I apologize for that. I especially apologize to David for that. <laughs> I'm so sorry I did that. I co opted your name there, David. <laughs> Yes, I sing too, and I'll show you in just a little bit here. At some point, I'll finish this up, and I, I can actually sing better than Dean Martin. Well, more stuff. All right, so we go brush on. Got my soft brush. And we'll do a little opacity. Ooh, way too much. Let's pick a lighter color. There we go. I like that. And we'll I'll collapse it down. I think I'm going to copy it. Copy it down and transform. Oh, look at that. I took some doves with me.
Yeah, there we go. Just something to take up a little room in the sky. I really got to get that cloud out of his nose. I didn't realize I had the doves on the same layer. If I do, there we go. Pesky doves. All right, I'm just going to stick it there. All right. Does that give you guys the general, the whole Peter Max feel? That's basically the whole idea. Anything else I could show you at this point would just be redundant. I want to see red spell redundant. That's basically it. It's a great, I, it's so much fun. It really, you know, and a round of applause for, for Black Pawn for just this app is so cool. It makes this whole thing so easy to throw this stuff together. You know, honestly, it's just, it's so cool, Jim, what you put together here. Not just the tools, but the whole community, the whole, the whole nine yards. You are, you are Superman. You are awesome. And thank you for this because it's just it's so much fun for me to sit here and and play with this stuff. And yes, I'm deliberately sucking up so we can have a compo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know what? It's not a '60s tune, but I'm gonna do the song everybody loves. And if Mist is in here, please keep the dancing bananas down to a minimum, okay? Okay. Keep the dancing bananas to a minimum, please, please. Hardly any. We're not doing bananas with this time. Lighters are fine, right? And stop this here tail chasing around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tail chasing around. Yeah. yeah. I thought I saw you in the grocery store, but it was just some other girl with your kind of hair. I tried your house and I knocked on your door. Together and stop this it tail chasing around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
I'll go. There you go. <laughs> I, you know, I, I love all his underwear and stuff, but I'd like to thank those of you who particularly, like, did the laundry first. <laughs> so there you go. I think that brings to a close the, the old goth daddy, Peter Max. Okay, are we all good? You all got the basic techniques down? I'm actually kind of pleased with that. They came out kind of cute. I love you guys so much. I do, I do, I do. Wow, Tom Cruise is so in love with Katie. At least all his people tell him so. And while he thinks that she's a very special lady, it's probably not the way he choose to go. But a lifetime of the books can cause too much distraction. Good thing that he's not gay anymore. Tom Cruise is Tom Cruise crazy. You just look at it and not you. If you had Tom Cruise's troubles, you might be oops. You might be Tom Cruise crazy too. You flash your big white shiny smile. You buy expensive shoes. And you'd be the only man on earth who couldn't enjoy Tom Cruise. No, no. You couldn't enjoy Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise is always getting older. He knows he'll never be that young again. Looks back over his shoulder. He sees a thousand younger leading men. And he knows someday he'll have to play an old retarded grandpa while someone younger plays his sexy son. Tom Cruise is Tom Cruise crazy. Just look at it, Tim, not you. If you had Tom Cruise's problems, you might be Tom Cruise crazy too. Aside from about 10 screw-ups in there, that went fairly well. <laughs> All right, guys. That's two songs. I'm not going to do all the songs. That's it. So, uh, thank you, thank you. Send your money to 410 West Broad Street, Horseheads, New York, 14845 USA. Yeah, are we doing a compo? Uh, Pardon me. Excuse me. That's what a classy bastard I am. I burped in class. I burped right here in class. Hey, <laughs> I burped. Anyway. Set the rules. Well, 
I would say go back, do a little homework, look at the 60s, keep the, keep the 60s theme in mind. Um, you don't necessarily have to do it Peter Max, but, you know, that feel. And, um, I, you know, I'm not putting a limit on entries. I'm not getting Mark mad at me. So, uh, do it all in Sketch, sketch Club. I would think no image loads. Typical stuff, you know. Just follow along. Just do the stuff. There are brushes that, like I said, there are a couple of brushes that haven't been, uh, haven't been added, but uh, they're there. They will be, I'm, I'm assuming. So there you go, guys. That is the Peter Max Pop Art 60s Goth Daddy Straight Ahead class. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I love you all dearly, and uh, this has been a pleasure and an honor. So I love you guys. So a little round of applause for you guys. Yeah, 60s pop art, man. Keep it real. You know, keep it 60s. And uh, have fun with it.